Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Do we want to talk to Thug over here first? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up now. You're an outsider. Pass this point is a turf for Ishnail, head of the robbers. It's ten coins to pass through. Try to pass without pain, and I'm afraid I'll have to whip you good. I can take you. What? You've got to be kidding. You think you can fight your way through here? I'm going to make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. Let's fucking go. Okay. So, see how he's got a spear? Spear bad. Boom, boom, boom. Beep. I messed up. Oh, it's going to take a minute to get the timing right. Okay, hit him with the tattle. Okay, yeah. And... Uh, Thank you. That's Gus. He's super annoying and tries to take tolls from everyone. Max HP is 20, attack is 3, and defense is 0. All in all, he's pretty tough. Oh, and I've told you a million times, that pointy spear of his hurts if you stomp on it. What if this guy watches people pass 365 days a year? Talk about a workaholic. Huh. Oh! Ow. Okay. Come on. Hup, hup, hup. Bam! Boom! Stylish, baby. I don't have an audience yet, though. Okay, well, she can't attack at all, so just defend. Defense will be boosted this turn. Oh, good do good block. One, two, three. Ha! Um, you know what? Hit him with a fire flower. Hiya! Only three damage. Oh, good block. She's in a little danger, that's okay. One, two, three. Huh. Boom! Stylish. So, I'm gonna try. Yeah, okay. Spike hurt. Huh. Big block. Okay, hit me with. Yeah, go for the hammer. One, two, three. Huh. I messed it up that time. And I guess, um. Eat a mushy. Just to shut up the noise. Okay. Come on, Gus. What you got? Ha! Damn it. I messed up. He's only got eight health left, though. Two, three. Bam! Six. Couple more turns to go. Hit with the defend. Uh, defend. Defense will be boosted this turn. Hiya! Big block. Ha! That hurt. You have no chance of beating me, trust me. So you'd better run. Yeah, if you don't, seriously, it'll be game over for you. You can choose to run from your tactics menu. Sometimes it's best to run. Uh-uh. I can take him. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Beep! I got items. You just keep going with that defend. Defense will be boosted this turn. Ha! Now I need to use an item. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Beep! Okay. Attack. Items. Hit him with a mushy. Critical. No longer. Now, would I have been okay anyway? Nope. I would have died. Because even on a perfect dodge, it's too much damage. One, two, three. Bam! Eat it. My ten coins. Even though I spent ten coins worth of items to get through here. You know what? It's A-OK. -okay. Crud! You dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff. It's ridiculous. You think violence solves everything, don't you? Huh? Don't you? Fucker. It's locked from the inside, okay? This is East Rogueport. This is the turf of Ishnail and his crew of robbers. The east side's all run down. You can't even tell if these buildings are vacant or not. If you're down here, you darn well better have a compelling reason to be here. The Trouble Center is the only place on the east side that other townsfolk come to. The place is open when you're in the neighborhood. You should drop in. Ooh. I want that treasure. I can't get it, though, unless I can... Absolutely not. Piranha plant. Yeah. Piranha fish, rather. Alright. Let's go in and speak to Frankie. Oh, hi. There you are. Professor Frankly. What's that? Who's that? Who wants me? Ah, yes. You. Now you. Uh, I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I'll get it right. Um, it's Cumbriel. Er, uh, it's not a Lizagoom. Hmm. Uh. Aha! I've got it. 
You're Gumbella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes, sir, that's me, I'm Gumbella, a junior at Yugum. Go Goombas! Of course I remember you! Not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You, though, you stuck out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. That guy behind you is... Who? Mario, Professor, he's Mario, you know, the famous one. Oh, my apologies, I'm such a bookworm, I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you to all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Roquebot. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, you would, Professor, frankly. Of course I know about it! The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for the truth in those fairy tales, sir. Me? I believe the legendary tr treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made! In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, about the treasure. There are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories, obviously it's impossible to divine the truth among them. But all agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. You mean the crystal stars in that old saying that super elderly people pass down? Indeed, the same! As the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you first must collect the seven crystal stars! Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the thousand year door. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. Yeah, a lot of the lore I've read says that if this magical map is taken to the doorway, then it'll show you where to find the crystal stars. Correct! And the thousand year door is supposedly here, deep beneath this town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost! If only we had that map! Hmm. But we do have it, Professor. Well, not we exactly. Mario has the magical map. What? Humming hibbity hobbity 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 Really? You actually have it? Could I just take a quick look at it? If you don't mind. Astounding! This is it! This is the real thing! The one and only magical map! You, son, are my hero! You're great, fantastic, wonderful, even! With this, we can find the crystal stars just by holding this aloft before the legendary door! Right on, Professor. Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here, then? Gumbella, Mario, off we must go this instant! Let's take the magical map to the legendary door! I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? Heh <laughs> God, I love how she... <laughs> the paper aesthetic is so good. We can use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you. Let's get moving. Hold on. I'm going to go heal. Maybe buy a couple more mushies. Better to be prepared, you know? Skewers here. Just going to sneak over here. Into here. That's a hell of a skull you got there, bud. Can't you take a hint, pal? Dot, dot, dot means scram! Oi, I used to sail around and run wild in my younger days, but I'm a reformed sailor now. Used to go around and explain all over the place without giving it much thought. Wait a minute. Blue stashes barely four times as whack. Now all the fireworks boom and crack. It's a boom boss a boom festival. The skull captain casts his gaze. The red jewel shines and plays. It's a boom boss a boom festival. The the stash brothers, best of friends. Three times red stash lands on his end. Blue stash's belly, four times his wax. Now all the fireworks boom and crack. Okay. I feel like that's a hint for something. Oh wait, he's not even the one singing. Who is? Welcome to you and yours. Have a seat. This is Podley's place, a humble little cola shop where the folks mix stories and drinks. By the by, there's an inn upstairs when you're weary, go on up and relax. Ah, oh, thank you. Maybe it is still him. <gasps> oh my god, it's the Rock and Bowser. And oh my fucking god, there's Gino there. How did I never see that as a kid? What the fuck? How did I not know Gino was in this game? Well, in this game is kind of... 
Welcome to the refugee port of filthiness. Our beds will soothe your soul. It only costs five coins to spend the night. Take a nap. Enjoy your stay. And whew. Frankly, can wait. It doesn't matter. What's he gonna do? Go on his own? Unlikely. Did you sleep well? Now you're ready to get out there and face the world. See you again soon. So nice. Most of the people are so scummy. Some, very nice. What time is it? Still not 11 yet. Alright, give me a couple more of these. Buy it for me. Do it again. And you know what? I want another fire flower. They're useful. See, it didn't seem very good in that fight. But that's because it was only one enemy. The gimmick to fire flowers is they hit every enemy. So if there's 10 enemies in combat, it'll hit them all. There's never going to be 10 enemies in combat though. Oh wait, hang on a second, Mario, something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. You two do know about your action commands, don't you? Really? A master, are you? Maybe you ought to practice them once just to be safe. Damn it, you fucking trapped me, you bastard. Oof, positively shocking. In that case, you ought to take a second to learn them. We'll have a little practice session. Gumbala, you can be Mario's opponent. What? Me? You nuts? Oh, gee. Um, uh, okay. I'll do my best, I guess. First, we'll practice the jump action command. That okay with the both of you? Choose the jump command. Okay. Jump. When you choose your target, the action command details appear down below. Yeah. Bonk. There! Yeah, right there, Mario. Just before you land on your enemy, press A again. Oh, it didn't let me do my dances. You'll know you did it right when nice appears. You can do more damage this way. Now it's your turn to attack Umbella. Shake a leg. Okay, here goes, Mario. Hold up. Right there, Mario. Press A just before your enemy strikes you. You did a guard action command. Guarding well will reduce the damage you take. But listen, you can't just repeatedly tap A to guard. That will not work. Oh, remember this. The action commands change depending on the attack. Better stay on your toes. Let's practice hammer action commands. Once you choose the enemy, you're going to attack Mario. Just uh, da, da. tilt and hold left. Boom, 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 bam. Release the stick as soon as that lights up. Another rousing action command success. How did that feel, Mario? Got a pretty good grasp on action commands? Excellent. Now for a real treat, I'll teach you a really incredible technique. Gumbella, try to attack Mario one more time. You got it, Professor. Freeze right there, Mario. This time press B. Oh, I forgot about counterattacks. See? You turned the foe's attack back on him. I mean her. That's a super guard. If you do a super guard with B, you take no damage and damage your enemy. But super guards are harder to do than standard guards. Choose wisely between them. And that concludes Action Commands 101. Ha <laughs> ha, sorry. Professor Humor. How'd that go over? Would you like to practice your Action Commands? Nope, got it. I expected nothing less, Mario. You're a quick learner. You're already a pro, I'm sure. Well, I do believe now we're set for a quest. So down below we go. All right, and get out of here. And whoop. And back up. Give me the one at ease. Save. Now, do I go this way? What's over here? Um, wait a minute. He remembers things. What's in here? Oh, you're the helper guy. Aha! Welcome, Mario. I am a lovely, the lovely fortune teller. Seeing with my amazing abilities that you seek is my humble job. The light of the shining stars will light that which I wish to see. So, shall I see something for you? No. Aha, is that so? Well, if there's ever anything you want to find, just ask. I want to speak to him. I remember what star pieces are for now. Okay, over this way. Hey! Hey, man! What's up? Who's the hottie you got there with you? What's up, baby? Why don't you hang with us for a while? We play real nice. Man, that's one fine-looking Goomba doing with the tubby mustache guy like that. Oh, it is, like, so sweet that you boys think I'm cute. Seriously. Yeah, guys like you make me feel, like, totally barfing. Now get out of our way. Oh, that was cold. Why, you too good for us? Come off her sister. Nobody sings us like that. Nobody. Let's get him. 
Can't flee this fight. A Goomba, a Spiny Goomba, and a Paragoomba. My, the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about is that fellow in the middle, the Spiny Goomba. See that spike on his head? Well, jump on that and you're the one who will take damage. The Paragoomba's airborne, so your hammers won't reach. You'll have to jump for him. Always take your opponent's situation into consideration when fighting. Always. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you something vital. You can press Y to change the order you two attack in. You can attack first if you feel like it. Goombella, don't forget that. And she will. Because I want her to do a quick little tattle. Wrong one. This one. Tattle. And... Stylish. That's a Goomba. Um, yeah, I'm one of those, in case you hadn't noticed. Ahem, it says here Goombas are underlings of underlings. That is totally rude. Their maximum HP is two. They have an attack power of one and a defense of zero. Which means... Ready? One. And I fucked it. Oh, I should have tried to counter. I messed up. Messed up. I messed up again. It is a lot harder to do then. Okay, tattle. Tattle. This guy. And shabam. Stylish. That's a spiky Goomba. A spiky-headed Goomba. What a creative name. That spike is super pointy, so it's better to hit it with a hammer rather than jump on it. Maximum HP is two, attack is two, and defense is zero. The addition of the spike means you'll hurt your feet if you jump on it. Duh. And one. Stylish. Double stylish. He did it. Oh, no. God damn it. Ow. Fucked it up. Maybe I should just be doing normal blocks. No, no, we need one more tattle. Beep, 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 beep. And shabam. That's a power Goomba. Basically a Goomba with wings. I'm jealous. Maximum HP is two, attack is one, and defense is zero. You can't hammer it while it's flying, but rough up and it'll totally plummet. It's fine. Ready? One, two, three. Bonk! I messed up my action command thingy. That's fine. Oh, you got bonked. Dizzy, attacks might miss. It missed. Okay, go for the head bonk. Hey! He's done. Later, nerd. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah! Owie! Ha! Later on, losers. That felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they come from, and they'll all have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them while in the field. Attack successfully and you can perform a first strike when you enter battle. So if an enemy catches sight of you, we sure to thump them as you go into battle. Thank you, frankly. Wait, nope. Bonk, 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 bonk. Hiya! Fall off. Fall off. Push, push. Ha ha, gotcha! Big suck. Where are we now? We're in the sewers. Hiya! Ready? Hiya! I messed it up. It's fine. Cuz. Bump, bump, bump. Got him. One stylish is okay. I don't think he gave me any money though. Oh wait. Yoink. Hiya! Okay, do it again. And hop, hop. Easy wins. Look at that. Freebies. Yeah. Oh, bit of health. I'll take that. I appreciate it. One of them. I was facing the wrong way. Oh, he's got an item. I don't remember so many of them having items. Thank you. Give me that item. Yeah. What do you got for me? What is it? He didn't drop it though. What an asshole. I'll take that though. Can I break these? I can break these. Hold on. What's over here though? Okay. Can't break that. That's okay though. We'll go this way. hey -ah. It's a pony. Bonk. Do, 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 do. I remember hating these enemies. Hiya! Stylish, baby. Swap. I need you to do a quick little 
So you might be wondering why I'm tattling on everyone. So if you tattle on them, that means every combat from then on, you can see their health and everything. That's a spinya, totally weird creature made of thin papery boards. It certainly looks unique. Nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. Max HP is three, attack is one, and defense is zero. Its attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy. Just give it a hee Smack him. ha uh, yeah. Easy wins. Still only worth three EXP, though. Excuse me, sir. Did you notice that uh, little thingy majig up there? I'm sure you did. Hop, 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 hop. Yeet! You found a black key, but what could it be for? Excuse me, sir. You might also be noticing that weird little uh, torn edge there. Can't do anything about that yet. But we will be able to at one point. Now, in here... Hmm. Whoa. Hey, you. Can you hear me? You can. That must mean you're the hero of legend. Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah. Everyone else? Nothing. See? Long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this box. I was bummed. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah. Anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Uh, Mario, a word with you? I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this box. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, drat. I just said it out loud! What's wrong with me? Oh yeah, searching for the crystal stars are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you wanna get those bad boys. So first you should look for the key to this box and use it to let me out. Definitely. By the way, the key looks like this. Well, what do you think we ought to do, Mario? Well, we've really got a key. Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Come on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, oh great legendary hero. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You brought the key. Yes, oh man, I owe you big. Yes, thank. Ha! Thank nothing. Wee! Fools! Oh boy, did you fall for it. I burned you. What, do you think I was gonna help you? Said I'm gonna spread a little of the suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Boogly woogly woo! You're cursed! Wee hee hee! Enjoy that curse, sucker! You've got what you deserved! You wanna hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper aeroplane! Wee hee! Trembling yet? Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse! Wee hee hee! Oh, I can't help but chortle! You're doomed! This curse is pretty rough, I guess, so I guess I'll explain it. Ready? You stand on an aeroplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel. Now try pressing Y and then BAM! You're a paper aeroplane. The worst part of this curse is you must tilt left and right to control yourself. I guess if you got good at it, you might fly a long way. But that's the only good thing. So be honest, isn't this curse just about the worst thing that's ever happened? Yes, I get it, it's terrible. Wee! If you press B, you might return to normal. Maybe. Farewell, you foolish fool. Wee! Oh no, we've been cursed. So, uh, wow, just wow. What was that guy's beef? Hmm, I can't help but notice there's an aeroplane panel here. So next time, we'll fly the sewer skies, I guess. But for now, thank you all for watching, and I will see you then. Bye-bye.